Joseph Gilda, as well as the owner of Youth Gilda School. Today I have a story for you from the book, The Night Before Easter. I want to share this book with you because we know Easter is right around the corner. Story Yoga at SIF looks just like this. We sit around in a small circle, we take time to read through the story, and then after the story has been finished, we start bringing it to life with yoga poses. So I'm ready to show you. All right, let's get started. The Night Before Easter by Natasha Lynn. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out upon the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter Bunny would soon be there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out in the barn the hens made such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter when what to my worry Curious eyes should appear, but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except the Easter Bunny. He sniffed at a pansy, a tulip a rose. He jumped over a shovel, a rake. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs not making a sound, with a swift dapper bunny came spreading in with a bound. Here comes the bunny. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose like a berry. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure and filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolates and chips and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. And just when we thought that the bunny was done, he picked out some eggs looking over each one. He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantle, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose and went to his cart. He sprang from the house in a single bound and bounced down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hop, hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. All right, who's ready to start bringing the night before Easter to life? I think it's time to add some yoga poses. What do you think? Take a moment, look around your room, make sure that your space is going to work for you to do some yoga with me today. It'd be great if you had a beach towel or a yoga mat, something you could put on the floor to make your space special for yoga time. Go ahead and get yourself set up. All right, my yoga friends, it looks like you've got your mats all ready and you're ready to start with our yoga poses. So let's go ahead and start the story. It said, not a creature was stirring. All right, remember, out on the lawn. So we're gonna lay ourselves down like we're creatures laying out in the grass. And we're going to take three slow breaths, laying right here on our side. This is called side lying savasana. Take a nice slow breath in through your nose and then blow it away. 
Two more, almost like you're sleeping nice and calmly. And then blow it away. Another breath, slow in through your nose. And then blow it away. So while we are sleeping, we've left our Easter baskets laying out on the table, ready for the Easter Bunny. So let's push up off the ground and make ourselves into table pose. Hands come underneath shoulders, knees under hips. Take a slow breath in here, and then blow it out. Now we want our table to stay nice and flat. Let's see if we can stretch one leg long behind us. Good. And then bring that foot down. Let's see if we can stretch another leg long behind us. Keep your back nice and flat. And then bring that foot down. Let's see if we can stretch one arm straight out long. And then bring that hand down. And then we'll try one more arm go out nice and long. And then bring that back down. Good job, friends. Let your belly fall down to the floor like a cow pose. Ooh. And then just do a little rounding in your back like a cat pose. Good job, friends. From there, we're going to come up to high knees because we're sleeping. And the story, the characters are sleeping and they're dreaming about jelly beans dancing in their heads. How funny is that? So stand up nice and tall on your knees and make your hands sway side to side like you're a dancing jelly bean. And you're singing and you're dancing. Very good. Yeah, in the story, they're having silly dreams and they're dreaming about jelly beans. So just open up the sides of your body with a little movement from side to side. All right, then out on the lawn, coming from the barn is where they started to hear noises. So let's make our bodies look like the barn. Put your hands down on the ground, curl your toes under, lift your tail up towards the sky. Now this is sometimes called downward facing dog, but today we're gonna pretend we're the roof of the barn. So kind of move around to your tail. It feels good to you. Make your back nice and flat. Look back at your toes or your ankles and make your root top really tall and high to the sky. Look like the roof of the barn. Perfect. Now, we heard things going on out there in the barn. And this is when we meet the Easter Bunny. He starts walking on two legs. Let's see if we can stand up really tall on two legs. We're gonna stand up as high as we can on our mats. Make our legs go really straight. Good, and then just see if you can make your legs go from side to side. Oh, I might be so tall that I'd disappear off the screen, but we've got those nice, tall, strong legs like the rabbit in the story. Good, he's got his wheelbarrow, so maybe you even bend over just a little bit Stretch your arms out to the side like you're pushing the wheelbarrow through the yard. Good job, friends. Bring yourself down towards the ground. Now next, he starts sniffing. He sniffed a pansy, a tulip, and a rose. Those are flowers. So we're going to put ourselves down on our knees, see if we can sit back towards our heels, and take a big breath in as our hands come up over our head. And then a breath out as those hands go down to the sides. Let's do that one more time. Big breath. And then blow it out. And then you know what he does? He jumps over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. So I'm going to see if you can do three jumps. Hop up on your mat and give me three jumps. One, two, three. Oh, should we do that again? I think that was fun. Let's do three jumps. Can you do them fast this time? One. Two, three. Oh, good job, friends. Come back down to the floor with me. On the next page, then up to our house in just a few hops, he comes with him, bringing with him chocolates and lollipops. Let's sit up high on our knees and act like we just had a little sweet treat. And then can you say, mmm, take another bite. And then say, mmm. Good job, friends. That was a nice loud noise that you made out of your mouth. We are enjoying those chocolates. Oh, as I sat on the stairs, now I'm peeking at the Easter Bunny. That's what happened in the story next. So we're going to stand up really tall, but do it where once we get 
get tall, we're going to bend our knees. And then I want you to bring your hands out, away from you, and act like you're in chair pose. Now, if this feels too tricky, make your feet go a little wider, or maybe even bring your hands down a little bit. But you're pretending like your bottom is sitting on something, but it's not. There's nothing behind you. This is a chair pose. Hold for three, two, one. Good work. Chair pose makes you use lots of big muscles in your legs. You guys did a good job on that one. All right, so he sits on the steps, and he starts seeing that the Easter Bunny is all dressed, and he's got all kinds of stuff here as he's setting out getting ready. So we're going to try a little bunny breath here. Bring yourself onto your knees, and you're going to take three quick breaths in through your nose, and then one slow breath out. So try this with me. We'll go. Try it again. Good job, bunnies. Can you make some bunny ears for me, like in the story? Good work. All right, on the next page, he's starting to really fill up our baskets. So we're going to make basket pose. We're going to sit down on our bottoms and bring the bottoms of our feet together to touch. See how my knees are going out here to the side? And then I'm going to bring my arms up over my head and make a handle. So this is my basket where all the treasures can go. And this is the handle that's at the top of the basket. See if you can sit nice and tall. Take a big breath in through your nose. And then blow it back out. Maybe you breathe in and lift your handle. And then breathe out and let it go down. Let's try it again. Bend. And out. In through your nose. And back out. Good job with those baskets. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. This is all the little critters. They're down here on the floor picking up all the candies. Can you act like one of those little critters down on the floor? Crawl around on the floor at your house and act like you're picking up all sorts of little yummy candies that fell on the floor. Ooh, once you've got those candies, let's do that mmm breath again. Take a bite, and then say mmm. Take another bite, and say mmm. Good job, friends. All right, and just when we thought the bunny was done, he picked up some eggs, looking over each one. Can you make yourself look like an egg? We're going to hug our knees really tight into our chest and get really tight into a little ball here, like an egg. Sit really quietly, because we're hiding. We're hiding eggs, so we've got to be quiet. How quiet can you be? Let's be really quiet. All right, friends, very good. From there, on the next page, he starts hiding them all over the house so that Easter Bunny's still hiding those eggs. And you did a really good job of being quiet. And then we hear the rooster crow. So we're going to get up on our hands and knees. And then on our inhale breath, I want you to bring your arms up. Put them right here on your sides like rooster wings and say, <laughs> Take your hands back down. And the next time, bring them back up. Big breath. And say, the rooster is crowing, and he gets the Easter bunny. He grabs his cart, and he takes off out of the yard, and he springs down the street. But he's doing it really quiet. He doesn't want to make a sound. Can you move around your house, hopping like a bunny? Don't make any sound. Stay really quiet. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Good job, friends. I bet you feel kind of silly hopping like that. It's so much fun. And then at the end, we read a note. And we say, Happy Easter. So get yourself down on your bottoms. Stretch your legs out really long. Take a big breath in. And out. Read your little note from the Easter Bunny. And then say, Happy Easter to all. Let's try it again. Happy Easter to all. And then 
and bring your hands down to your heart. How fun was that? You guys made it all the way through the book with me. This book was called The Night Before Easter by Natasha Wing. I'm sure you can get this book on Amazon. I've had this book for a really long time. This was a book that was given to us for Easter in 2011 from my daughter's grandparents. I hope you guys enjoyed that story and it made you all sorts of happy as you spend this time at home today. So if you want to watch this again one more time before Easter, that might be a good idea to have some more Easter yoga fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube page, our YouTube channel, so that you can see more videos like this when we post them all the time. Check out Youth Yoga School or Sift Yoga to learn more about Story Yoga. Thank you guys.